Hello guys, my name is Gus and you're watching Unplugged. Today we're going to be talking about my custom Logitech G203 and the modifications I made to it. So with that being said, let's begin. I purchased this Logitech G203 some months ago and I immediately loved it. This mouse is for small and medium sized hands and me being a mediumish small handed guy, it felt great in my hands. I immediately noticed I was able to control the mouse better compared to my old Steer Series Rival 310 which honestly was a little too big for my hand. There was some improvement in my accuracy but the mouse wasn't perfect. The mouse had no rubber sides so I couldn't hold it in my hands comfortably because I was afraid it would slip out so I fixed that problem by adding this first mod with some lizard skin. I bought some off Amazon for 12 bucks and added some to the sides. After applying the laser skin, the mouse felt perfect. I was able to get a nice firm grip on the mouse without holding it too tight. It really made a difference and it feels great. I've had this tape on for months and it hasn't shown signs of it peeling off. If it does come off, just clean any remaining adhesive with rubbing alcohol and reapply some more laser skin. The next mod I added was the feet. These are hyperglides. If you don't already know, hyperglides are mouse feet with low friction that make your mouse glide easier across your mouse pad. After adding these mouse feet, I yet again found my accuracy improving, not by a whole lot, just a tiny bit, but hey, everything counts. You can and will feel a difference if you decide to add some of these to your mouse. To see if they have mouse feet for your mouse, go to the hyperglides website, link in the description below. The last and final mod I made was replacing the stock rubber mouse USB cord with a paracord from Paraflex cables. This paracord has less drag and more flexibility than the stock USB cord the mouse comes with, making it feel almost wireless. Adding this mod improved my accuracy yet again just a little more, but remember that every little improvement counts. So how much did everything cost? The total cost was 57 bucks, mouse included not bad for the price. Was it worth it? Yes, definitely. I started off with a basic mouse and I was able to mod it to perfection. To me, it doesn't get any better than that. Now all we have to do is compare the Mod O versus my custom Logitech G203 to see which one is the better one overall. But that's for another video. Thank you guys for watching, Gus signing off.